My name is Michael Ra. I'm an uh, assistant professor in the Department of Pathology and Molecular Medicine. I'm a clinician scientist, so I'm also appointed as a hematopathologist, a blood pathologist at KGH. So as a clinician scientist, I'm interested in bridging the clinical aspect of medicine with, with research that's going on and, and have them inform each other. Um, so as a pathologist, when I'm signing out cases at my microscope, I see the limitations of our current capabilities. At the same time, when I interact with my clinical colleagues who are treating the patients and, and hear of the, what the patients are going through, I, I'm motivated to try and improve what we can do. So, so my particular interest is in myeloid cancers, a subtype of, of uh, leukemias that occur, and improving the diagnostic uh, performance and the tests that we can run to diagnose these, these disorders. Um, wearing the researcher hat, I'm aware of recent advances with genomic sequencing, uh, where we're starting to dissect out what's actually causing the genes that are mutated that are probably causing these cancers. Um, these genes are, for the most part, not yet being looked at on the clinical side, so I'm interested in, in translating those findings from research to, to our current practice. So I've been appointed now three years, but last year when I received this award, it was just two years in, and um, getting funding from the Women's Giving Circle was crucial in starting off my lab. Um, it enabled us to order a mutation panel um, that is critical for the type of work that we want to do. We were able to show that this, this product works, uh, that we can perform these tests in our lab, and that was important information to show to outside granting agencies that we have what it takes, we, it's feasible, and that we have some preliminary data. And so uh, these funds were essential to leverage uh, external grant uh, applications. So the Canadian Cancer Society grant is in partnership with a clinical hematologist in Toronto. What we're doing there is that we've got funding for two years. This is a, called an innovation grant. And so we had to pitch this relatively innovative idea, which the, the committee obviously uh, thought was worthwhile performing. We're going to profile, look for these mutations in the peripheral blood. Normally to diagnose a myeloid cancer, we need an invasive bone marrow investigation where we would go into the hip and take some of the bone sample. It's not necessarily the most pleasant experience. The, the way things work now is that a patient would present to their family doctor with a, a low blood cell hemoglobin or anemia, a low platelet count, the, the cells that help the blood to clot, um, which might cause them to have bruising or bleeding, or a low white blood cell count, so they might be prone to infections. The general practitioners will look for a cause of that, and then often that will take several months and they may come to a dead end at which point if it's not explained by reversible things, let's say such as iron deficiency or other nutritional deficiencies, then they'll refer that patient to a hematologist. And then the hematologist will have to coordinate to obtain the bone marrow as I mentioned. So all of these things take uh, quite a bit of time. And even when the bone marrow is performed with the tools that we have now, the sensitivity is not that great. So we might look at the bone marrow and it might not yet be diagnostic. It might not yet give the answer to the questions. So what we hope is that this new genetic tests could be performed on the peripheral blood even in the community and then might lead to um, quicker earlier diagnosis, earlier more more efficient referral to hematology and down the road perhaps even more targeted therapy. A lot of the therapies now are mainly supportive and not curative for these myeloid cancers and so we would hope that by identifying the mutations that are in that particular patient we could tailor a more personalized medicine, a more personalized therapy for these cancers. The second, uh, the second agency is the Ontario Institute of Cancer Research, OICR, um, and particularly the what's called the Transformative Pathology Division. So as the word says, transformative, um, this agency is looking to change the practice of pathology, to shake things up, to develop new tests. And so we're going to include this mutation panel as one of the tests that we want to push forward uh, into, the, into the clinical realm. Uh, we will also the, in, in addition to looking for early detection, we're going to, we hope that this panel would also inform prognosis, so risk, um, indication of what the risk the patient has, the severity of the disease, also inform treatment direction, so certain patients might respond to a certain treatment, whereas other patients with a certain mutation may not. And then the last aspect is to inform new directions, um, so new, identify new treatment targets, and inform research that we can take from the clinical side back to the research side and study it further in, in model systems. So I would just like to go back to the personal aspect and the, you know, sitting at the table meeting the Women's Giving Circle members. 
a lot of these people are, most of them are obviously volunteering their time, um, have other things in their, in their busy lives. Um, you know, they had a vision, they had a goal, uh, they identified, um, you know, a priority area. And as a new investigator, it was, it was really an excellent experience to meet these people, to tell them about, you know, how my ideas might mesh with their dreams and aspirations. And, and how their funding enabled me as a new investigator to get off the ground. And, you know, we're happy to report now, you know, granting agencies, grants nowadays are very competitive. Um, but this set of funds and the tests that we were able to start uh, establishing was crucial to, to obtaining external funds. And so I would hope that that was what, you know, the intention was of this, this program. And um, I think that it's important to, to keep moving ahead with this. There'll be other stories like mine where these types of funds can seed um, new ideas, get them off the ground and get them moving towards um, returning the investment to helping people in the community like members of the Women's Giving Circle, their family members, their friends, for example.